And the neckbeard is getting out of control. Uh, welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger, and I've decided to start doing daily builds for you on Need for Speed Unbound. I know the game is not, like, super popular, but you guys have sent me over 600 builds. 600 builds you've sent me. Anyways, I'm going to try to use one of those builds every single day and put out a video just like this that's quick and easy to digest. I'll have the car built to your spec ready to go and then we're going to go out and race it on a couple of test races and see where it stacks up against other builds that we've done we'll try a different tier every single day and today we're going to try a b tier build on the m3 convertible by cobalt eagle all right let's go all right real quick let's get into the stats i'll show you what we've got here the engine that we're working with is the 4.9 liter flat 12. it boasts 513 horsepower in b tier it's insane 467 torque and a 12.0 quarter mile you've got 129 top speed and 3.7 0 to 60 so the top speed obviously not that great this is going to be great for corner kings um it is a drifty build it's a 10 percent drift and it's a rear wheel drive car so we'll see how this handles we'll see how it goes we're going to take it on the test courses which are rat race and tourist trap We'll see how it stacks up against the other cars. All right, here we go. Hopefully the AI do not get in the way. Oh, it's got good acceleration, man. Really good. That is great. I left the AI in the dust. Nice. That's a very good corner. All right, let's see if we can take this corner. Not bad, not bad. And it just did not want to turn there. That could be user error though. We're seeing some racers hit traffic here, dispatch. Feels great. I wish I, I need to get these yellow bars before these corners, though. There we go. It actually handles and drifts very nicely. All right, a 127, not really that bad. I think I can improve that a little bit, but it feels insane to drive. All right, let's go over to Tourist Trap. Here we go. Same situation, no AI in the way. You get a bar off you, not quite. There we go. Ooh, it does good, man. Got to keep this bar alive. You just stay on the outside of that. Man, it keeps really good speed. It keeps very, very good speed going through corners. As long as you're using that, that yellow NOS, man. It doesn't over-rotate either on the drifts, like if you're not prepared for it. Sometimes you're not prepared for the drift, it'll actually over rotate. You're not really. Oh, it feels great. What a nice build. I'm very impressed with this build. Didn't get any yellow going into this turn. Able to generate a little bit there on the end, on the exit. Nice. Should get a, a second bar. Lost a little speed on that. Not too bad, though. Had to go super wide to avoid that cop. He was really trying to ruin my run, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a great time, dude. 
a 152 really not bad this is a much straighter course so this actually has um it, it definitely benefits cars that have better top speeds because you can get it going and then you got a lot of straights but this one only goes to 129 130 and it did a 152 so it's really really good all right let's take a look at the full build so again the engine that you're going to use is the 385 horsepower 4.9 liter flat 12 on the parts you've got a super induction pro ecu fuel system and exhaust uh na for the boost option no turbo no supercharger uh super nitrous elite road in terms of suspension pro brakes elite drift tires and then the elite clutch the five speed gearbox and the elite differential i'm running nitrous drift and nitrous grip on the auxiliaries and then the handling we've got 10 percent drift and plus two on the steering plus one on the downforce and then obviously traction is off and then drift entries on gas or brake you can use either one once again shout out to cobalt eagle for sending this one i really appreciate it it's a very good b class build very fast nice short track build all right guys i'll see you on tomorrow's build trigger out